because we are still going on to now engage with you as a public. Karibu. Thank you very much. Wow, I am so, so proud of all of you. I mean, putting yourselves together as citizens to actually discuss the issues that are pertaining to the country. So let me stand on the protocols that were here before. Um, now I'm supposed to talk about the two-thirds uh, gender. Um, first of all, even when I look at this room, I can see, can I have the women stand up? Just the women. percent okay now when it comes to the votes in Kenya the citizens the votes are split 50 50 almost but we still cannot get men or women to go out there and vote for women okay so we have 290 constituencies out of the 290 constituencies only 10%, we reached 10% for the first time in the two, 2022 elections. 10%. We had 29 women in the single constituencies who battled it with men, and they won. Then we lost Alice Wahome, she went to become CS. When that election happened, a man came in. So now, 28. In Nairobi, we have 17 constituencies. In the last parliament, we had Masi Gakuya in Kasarani as the only woman. In this parliament, we have Elachi as the only woman. In the Nairobi County, where, where all the issues people, water, garbage, roads, right? In the last county assembly, we had five women. Beat this out of 85 wards. Five women. This, you went down. It was not even 10%. So if you're looking at the issues, right? The issues that women want discussed, like sanitary towels, putting a bigger budget. When we go to committee meetings, you will find that if a committee has 19 members, there are probably four women. Out of 19 members, there is some the women are going to be equal pay. More. Okay? We proved that during the tribal clashes. All right? It was women who were hosting other tribes in their houses and hiding them. It was women who were raped. It was women who were maimed. So at the end of the day, we need as a country first, before we start talking about the law. Why are we not willing to employ women and, uh, as, as, as uh, leaders? And why... that women, we've had two women run for presidents, charity, all right? Martha Karua was the running mate for Azimio, okay? But for me, we need to ask ourselves a simple question. What is it that makes us not want to empower hush on women? We're very harsh on women. By the way, I recently became a shosh, okay? And I'm very... It's a blessing to live up to 60 this year, all right? And to have a granddaughter, okay? But when you go on social media and you're called shosh, it is like your time is up, you're no good, this... Now, kitu Na heshima yake yote. Some of the issues that you have are because you don't have enough women in government. We've never had a woman president. We've never had a woman deputy president. We are having very few governors who are women now, and they are working very hard, 
but the bar is set very high when it comes to looking at how the woman performs it is so much higher i never see you guys asking men uko na bibi umefanya harusi umetoka wewe ni kabila yako ni wapi county yako ni wapi umezaliwa wapi those are the questions you'll ask women but you don't ask men if a man has five or six girlfriends and 10 wives he's celebrated hey when he do me if a woman does it my goodness you're a prostitute you're loose you're this you're that you're the other so let me tell you we need to first ask ourselves as citizens before we look at the law so the constitution was passed and we said not more than two-thirds of one gender meaning if we have nine seats three has to be one gender six has to be one gender you cannot have seven of one gender so we said we want not more than two-thirds of one gender so we would have women come in and then to help us we created the woman representative seat so that we are guaranteed 47 will be elected competing in the county and i'll tell you it's a tough job i get the same salary as an mp for a single constituency i have only one office and i'm expected to serve the whole nairobi all right if there's a fire in madare all watch is only in madare if there's a fire in kibra orero is in kibra if there's a fire in roraka tj is there and then mama county is supposed to be in all those places right when it comes to resources when it comes to resources the men are always adding more money to their cdf because there are many but when it comes to adding money for gaf hakuna so mwashimiwa here one day he has about 60 million for bursaries mwashimiwa here pasaris she has 1.6 million in the constituency so how do you even look at me when I come with 1.6 million in an entire constituency, when I'm told I have only 1.2 million for we, I can only give two groups per ward per year. And then people are saying, Mama County, Hatukuoni, you know, let me tell you, I can't come to the grassroots. And the first time I, I got into office, I went and did civic education all over Nairobi. I kept telling them about we, about the bursaries, about value addition. Let me tell you, I got over 10,000 applications. I'm still combing through some of those applications. So it's difficult because you're trying to go and sell something and you have no resources. So for me, what I want to tell you, all the women representatives, all your women leaders, they work very hard, but they are limited in resources because it's a man's world. And we're, ask, we're being given one third in Kenya but the SDGs, which this country is a signatory to, says not 50-50, SDG number five. Gender parity is 50-50. So I want to tell my women first, let me talk to the tribe of women. Let us rise above party, party politics. Let us become women. When we see a woman, we vote a woman. Because when the women stand with each other, the men will follow suit. And you know, right now, I don't think we have a situation where a man will come and tell you as a woman what to do. Because we have a single mother crisis. Wana ume hawako, wana plant, wana undoka. Wana plant, wana undoka. Wana mama wote ni single mothers. So those days of being told what to do huh, are over. You do what you have to do, support a fellow woman. So that she can be able to make sure that we actually legislate, budget, oversight as women so the tribe of women has to rise and then we've got another category of he for she wale wanaume ambao hawata plant and go wata plant and stay prosperity in the house akim watoto wenyu watafute wanateseka mtini yangu hii nairobi kila pali naenda naona watoto wenyu wanaume eh na mama na mama nasema single mother hakuzaa peke yake muli enjoy mukacha mtoto mukatembea Na wajua huyo ni wako. Hata sura ni yako. Desturi ni yako. Ha? Na umemwacha ati umeenda pa lingine kuenjoy. Ukikunywa hiyo bia au busao wat, muratina ask yourself a question. Mtoto wangu anakula nini leo siku? Ati unajiona eh hey, mimi ni dume unanulia watu bia hapo unajiona wewe ni mkali bure. Mtoto wako anateseka, bibi yako anateseka na unajiita mwanaume. Aki wesi mwanaume. 
we need deadbeat father deadbeat father so that was it tribe of women let's stand together he for she let's stand together if you are not a he for she na unajua umeacha mtoto wako pahali nenda mtafute alafu tutakuwa he for she thank you very much asante sana mheshimiwa tumpigie makofi mazuri tafadhalini thank you thank you so much mheshimiwa esther pasoris for those uh, really making the contentious issues of the two thirds gender rule real like vitu kwa ground presenting it from her